Okay, going to show you how to utilize Maparative and bring in our OSM data and then be able to export that to Inkscape as SVG. Uh, you're going to start by downloading Maparative, which is at maparative.net. Download the latest version, and that's just going to give you a zip file that you can unzip um, in your Windows tree. And then it's going to give you this maparative.exe that if you run, opens into this here. Now navigation is just with mouse wheel and then left click and drag. Uh, so you're going to mouse wheel into your location. I've just chosen a location here, California Coast public course here. And um, basically this is going to take our open street data. And so if you go into open street map and you go to your area and click edit, you'll notice that somebody has likely previously splined your course and there are uh, tutorials out there on how to spline your course if that has not been done but each of the sections here get designated with a tag such as uh, this fairway tag or this bunker tag and the nice thing is that um, Imperative can recognize that with a set of rules uh, so I've got a set of rules set up that will hopefully import the majority of the course you'll see there are some mistakes that happen uh, by the user that's creating the splines and uh, the import uh, sometimes gets blocked on certain things. So the set of rendering rules I'm going to provide for you, those rendering rules go into this rules folder in the file structure. So just copy and paste the OSM golf M rules into here. And then you're going to need to load that into your Maparative. And once you've loaded it, it will always come in there when you open your Maparative. But uh, it's going to start with this here and just run this use dash rule set location rules and I'll, I'll type that in to show you but you go tools command prompt U for use it automatically drops that in R for rule it drops in rule set type in location equals rules backslash and then that was that OSM golf course dot M rules and then as dash alias this is just naming it for what it's going to show up in your uh, menu up top and then you can call this osm golf course just do one word for whatever you decide to name this here and then you hit enter and then it will show up up top here in your switch to rules now um, click reload rendering rules because that will just basically compile this make sure there's no errors with that uh, OSM golf rules that you put in and, and then make it active here or make it be able to be utilized. Now we're going to go to our map. It starts out it has not downloaded any of the OSM data so you're going to get zoomed to where you want to export. So try to get in as close as you can but including all areas of the course. If this is off the map here um, it may not get processed for our SVG. Now SVGs are um, vector graphics which means they can scale uh, infinitely and not degrade so uh, it doesn't matter if you get a small area but it'll bring more stuff into Inkscape if, if it's um, tagging those things so switch to rules here or don't do that yet first download um, the OSM data under map download OSM data and it's going to download it probably under the default rule set. Yep, and it'll look like something like this where it's got all the houses and all that. Um, and then you're going to switch to rules and just do OSM golf course. And then you're going to see that uh, the splines are starting to show up. Now, interestingly, I've been going back and editing the, um, the OSM. And it's actually working pretty nicely. So look at this. And, and this will be maybe important for you if you're doing your own course or someone else's course or you make a mistake um, or somebody else has kind of sabotaged you here but this is not a T it's showing up as fairway and watch this if we go into open street and find that same area let's see where was that so this should be gotcha yeah that's what is that six maybe So you'll see here, if we zoom in, 
So see, somebody's labeled this as fairway. So you can click on here and change it to tee box, and then it should have this golf tee, and then same thing. Who's trying to sabotage us out there? And so that's fixed. Yeah, you can see a couple of these up here. It's downside about this just being open, you know. I wish you could almost uh, export it. You probably can export it to your side so that. And I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to fix this here and then we're going to move on. Or I'll maybe show you what's happening on 18, but I'm slowly fixing that as well. But my 18 fairway wasn't coming in, but it had a bunch of relations. And I don't know what somebody's trying to do here, but tag some things together. And so by removing the relations, it's now picking it up. But you'll see like the first hole's not showing up right now for me. And it's got this outer relation. Somebody was trying to label it as hole one, but there's a different way to do it through name up here. And so um, you see it's kind of trying to group them all as as one but it just it's not something that's um, a great way to do this so <laughs> I've been removing that um, and then you can upload your changes here and save them and you just gotta say what you did and just say add it or changed T boxes or changed miss labeled T's from fairway or something. Now it probably takes a while for this data to come in um, and I don't exactly know how long so when we go back in here I doubt these changes will um, refresh right away but we can always try. Yeah it's not uh, it's not going to be active just yet. Oh, there it is. No, yeah, yeah, it's not right yet. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, but you can fix all these things inside of Inkscape uh, after you've exported it, and we can redraw these things as well. Uh, but so now that you've basically got your course or you know that it's going to mostly show up well, I'm going to clear it and reload it. So I clear map and then download OSM data, and then it's just going to give us our spline stuff that we want and then I'm going to export this to SVG for Inkscape and then that's going to drop it into the Meparative folder that also is just something that you can change through the command line but I just leave it and it puts this output down here and so uh, right click on it and rename it right after it does it because um, it will always overwrite that output.svg and then if you right click on it and you do open with Inkscape then you're gonna see this just brings it right into Inkscape and the nice thing is with um, the way that I've done it here it's gonna already name it for you so it'll be ready for export um, where you've got cart paths, greens, tees, bunkers, and fairways ready for export or management, you know, you're going to want to go and touch these up.